Kobe here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tech Suit Spider Man from the Spider Man Homecoming Wave. So, yeah. Here's the bio if you want to read that. Here is the rest of the figures to complete the vulture wings. Um, and here is the promo art. So, here is Spider Man up for review. And, uh,. I've had this figure for a while, maybe for two weeks, maybe, no, for about a month, because I got him when I started watching uh, Wonder Woman, so yeah, that was since June, so yeah, I've had this figure for about a month, so let's get into the accessories. Right, so to start off this review, uh, I decided to start with the alternate head it comes with, and the alternate head has a the squinting eyes. I think these are for like when his vision gets blurry because he said his senses get dialed or something from Civil War. I'm not entirely sure on that, so don't take my word on that. This is a nice alternate head. And then we have alternate hands. We have two fisted hands and two thwipping hands. These thwipping hands are nice. I think these are the same ones that came in the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man figure. I mean, this this is just like a repaint and kind of a remold of a Civil War Spider-Man that came in the two-pack, but, you know, it's different in almost every way. So yeah, those are the alternate hands. And we have these brand new web wings. They should be a lot larger, because in the trailers... Um, they're like, they stretch down to like, here to here, but like this one, it's only pegging in there, and it only like expands there to there, and it should go here to here, like I said. So, yeah, these are not right, but they're pretty cool. They're transparent as well. And then, I'm gonna start reviewing the bath piece they come with, so... I mean, as long as I haven't put it into the full Build-A-Figure yet, then I will review it. But this wing piece is huge. It's like six inches. It stands just about the height of the Spider-Man. And it's really nice. The paint's nice. The green's nice. But I'll get more into this review if I ever do finish the Vulture Wings. So let's put that aside. Okay, so to start off this review, his head goes down. And his head goes all the way up, which is nice for, like, the gliding poses or the just looking up pose or something. Um, he has a double jointed or double cracking. I don't know what to call this. I think it's like a double cracking ab crunch. His thing goes back one click. He has that butterfly joint, but the butterfly joint isn't as good as the uh, Pizza Spider-Man mold. Sorry, there was a little bug. Uh, his hand, his arm goes up this much. Bicep swivel. That did not, that was not supposed to happen. Um, he has double jointed elbows. Wrist rotation. And it goes up and down like that. And he has waist swivel. Which is nice. His leg kicks out like that. His leg doesn't really go back that far, but it doesn't matter because he's Spider-Man. Um, he has thigh rotation, double jointed knees, ankle pivot. His leg goes out that much, or his foot goes out that much, and his foot goes back this much. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna go into the decal a little more when doing these reviews because I think that's what I'm missing. So let's get into that now. Alright, so, for the decal review, uh, it has a nice red. I think this red is brighter than the Spider-Man from the Civil War 3-pack. I'm just not sure. But I know the blue is a lot brighter, because the blue in the 3-pack was like a navy blue, almost. Kind of like this Thanos blue. No, maybe a little lighter than the Thanos blue, but we'll see. Um, I don't even have that to compare, so, 
has little Stark Tech things going on in his legs. Nice webbing. Oh, extra cans for webs. His web shooter right here. His little new Spidey logo. It's fixed from the old one. I don't know about the back one, but yeah, I really like the new design of the Spider-Man. It's just really nice and everything. And what's nice about this is that you can get him to more poses than you could before with the pizza spider-man i think i'm just not sure entirely you can get him into poses like that that's not bad is it i'm not sure but uh i just really like this figure it's one of my favorite spider-man figures it is my favorite spider-man figure um yeah so Let's get into the comparisons now. Oh yeah, I just realized I forgot to show the web wings in the armpits. Yeah, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff in these reviews. Reviews are just my thing, because, you know, I'm a stop motion person. Um, but I'm trying to get better at these, so I will soon. So, there's a little clip in his bicep, and a little peg here on the wing. It's kind of hard to get in there. It, like, pops out easily. Just gotta be careful. So yeah, see, it's supposed to be a lot bigger. I think it's not supposed to expand out this way, but it's supposed to expand out down here. So I think it's supposed to go from here to here in the movie, but I'm not sure. I mean, when you expand his arms like when it's supposed to, it only goes up to there. When it's really supposed to go from like here to here. But I don't know. It's good enough. Here is Spider-Man next to his three-pack buddies and his Civil War people. Here is the Civil War Spider-Man next to the basic figure, um, homemade suit Spider-Man. Here is the homecoming Spider-Man next to Miles Morales, who is in the MCU, and Venom, who is not in the MCU. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Spider-Man homecoming review. Tomorrow I will review the Vulture from this review, so stay tuned for that. Leave a comment and like and everything else. So I'll see you guys in the next video.